Happy Mother's Day, friends. This is a quick bonus episode simply to say that Happy Mother's Day and to offer a word of encouragement from the Lord as we (laughs) probably make our own breakfast or eat burnt toast as we look around a messy living room that still has to be picked up. Oh, I pray that you are able to look past the chores or the things that you wish are happening today, and maybe they're not, and look at those sweet children that the Lord has given you. Look at your husband who is building this life with you and set aside the frustrations or the stresses or the miscommunication and give thanks to the Lord. I have spent my quiet time this morning um, reading through Proverbs 31, the wife of noble character, and we will not take time today together to go into deep detail through these verses, but I found myself so thankful for the good things that God has given me, my husband and my children and the work that I have to do and the home that I have to build and manage and care for and all of the lives that that touches. And there are many things as I read through these verses that bring me to confession where I fall short um, so often. And there are even more things that I read here in Proverbs 31 that lead me to thanksgiving to God and to praise God and to pray and ask him to help me. I pray for each of us as I read through these verses that we will be women who live our lives in such a way that our husbands have full confidence in us that our children will arise and call us blessed. I pray that we are women who will fear the Lord first and foremost, that we will make the most of every opportunity he gives us, every moment we have with our family, especially while our children are little and they're in our home and they want to snuggle on our laps. And there are just so many sweet memories to be made and so many ways that we impact who they are and their character and their future. And I know at the same time, they are impacting us. So my friends, I will close this short Mother's Day um, greeting and blessing with just a few words here from the end of Proverbs 31. I'll be praying it for us. And then let's go about our day and have some fun with these sweet children that delight to call us mom. Lord, I praise you and I thank you for all the good gifts you give us, most especially for our families. And I pray, God, that we will speak wisdom to our children, that our instructions to them will be faithful and good. Help us, Lord, to watch over the affairs of our households. Help us to fight the temptation of idleness and distraction. Lord, we pray that our children will arise and call us blessed and that our husbands also will bless and praise us. We confess, Lord, that many women do noble things and we ask that these verses here in your word will be true of us, that we will surpass them all because we fear you and we follow you. We acknowledge, Lord, that charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But it is the women who fear you, holy God, who are praised. And so we pray that you will make us those women. Fill us with your spirit that we may fear you well and live for you well. Lord, we lay our families at your feet, trusting your goodness We pray that you will strengthen us today, encourage us today, wherever there are hurts and griefs in our lives. Lord, we pray for your hand of comfort and healing and encouragement. And we pray that there are sweet moments today, God, with our husbands and our children, and that this can be a Mother's Day that 
honors you and strengthens our family relationships and that we can just enjoy with our family. We give you this day, Lord, just like every other day, and we praise your name. Amen. Friends, I will sign off here. I hope it is a wonderful Mother's Day, and we will, of course, be back later this week with our regular episode. So until then, um, head over to loveyourpeoplewell.com if you want some freebies or to grab a devotional or just to be encouraged. Um, in areas of family life where you might be struggling a little bit or want some reminders and helpful tips. And until we talk again, hugs and blessings to you. I'll talk to you soon.